Hi guys, sometimes what happens when I record these videos, we get bogged down with having everything set up perfectly with the cameras and most YouTubers do, but you know, you just need the stuff, you just need the, the licks and the riffs, so here we go, we'll get straight into it. Here what we're going to do is we're going to play an A5 power chord here, I'm using one finger, I'm using my index finger i'm holding down the d string and the g string at the second fret here i've got an open a string and i've got the thumb palm muted out the e string here you got that there got that that is the a5 power chord i'll leave that e string out of the equation because if i leave it in it will muck everything up but if i put my thumb over the top it means I can hit all those strings. We get just get a clunky, chunky sound. But the sound of the ringing strings is louder than the muted strings, so it's okay. Right, so we've got that going on. This is the A chord. Now, what we can do is we can actually, to get some cool stuff going, we can just play the A string as a, dra as a drone using downstrokes. Now you can put any number of drones you want into that. So it's up to you what you do with that. It's completely up to you. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this exact same shape and we're going to move the thumb the same as well. And we're going to take this up to the fifth fret. Boom. This gives us a C5. This ordinarily would be a C5 power chord. But what we do is we take the C5, we just keep the fifth here and the root here. We've inverted it and we just turn that over, put the thumb on the top, mute out that E string, means I can hit the top four strings again. Yeah, so we've got that there. So we've got A5, C5, we've got the D5 here. It's exactly the same technique. No need to overthink it because we're just interested in rocking out and having a good time. So there you go, there's three positions for that. Fret 2, Fret 5, Fret 7. Now what we can do to create almost like a fake slide effect is if you think about it, this is Fret 2. Well, this is Fret 12, which is the equivalent to Fret 0, which is the head note. So... Fret 1, that's the equivalent of fret 1, that's fret 2. This 14th fret here is the equivalent of fret 2, so this is an octave higher. So you can hear I can use this one here. What I could do is I could slide strum this, slide it up and put a bit of a shake on it. Now the cool thing is, I can take that down here, I can put the thumb over the top just to mute that uh, E string out. And I get a G here. So there's an A, there's a G, there's a D, there's a C, back to an A. What I can do, because remember that 12 is the same as the open, I can ring these strings open. And that's another G. Here's an example of how you might use it. You've heard this a thousand times. Now the cool thing is, is if we take that little framework then I can rock out on that for hours. Get a looper, bangs that down, if I take my minor blue scale here at the fifth position, eight five, look up one of my other lessons on the, the, the minor blue scale. That's the scale to put a solo over the top of it. Record that riff. Record something like that. If you do that, then you'll have bags of fun and that's what it's all about. That's the end of the lesson. See you next time.